Hey guys, you get a here, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video this time. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a actual set. So I'm going to be reviewing the Duelist Alliance set that just came out yesterday for the TCG in North America. Um, so I basically want to talk about the set because there's a lot of new archetypes, um, a lot of new cards that came out. Um, and basically this set is definitely going to change the meta that we are currently playing in. So Light Swarms and Dragon Rulers is probably what most people are playing right now. Um, Infernity, some uh, Mermails and stuff like that. But with this new set, uh, the new archetypes that are definitely going to change the meta. Shadows is definitely one of them. Uh, Burning Abyss. So Teller Knights have a chance, but I don't think they're going to be a top tier deck. Um, mostly I want to talk about like Shadows, Burning Abyss, Yang Zings, uh, those kind of archetypes. <laughs> now, um, sorry about that. Uh, this is just going to be brief, like I'm going to talk about the few archetypes, uh, go, briefly go over like my opinion on how they're going to do in the meta and their market values. Um, I will be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! marketing videos on more specific cards in the very soon so like I talk about more specific cards like say Shadal Fusion, um, Yang Zing Kai's, Burning Abyss, uh, Dante and stuff like that. Um, I will be get, going over those in marketing videos but for now I just want to kind of go over all of them in one video kind of uh, more brief just so you guys see what I think about when I see the set. So first of all I want to talk about Shadal cards. So stuff like El Shadal, um, Shadal Fusions, like where they con El Shadal Construct, um, uh, Winda, who's that other guy? Well, you you get my point. Like Construct, Winda, and those those guys, um, as well as Shadal Fusion. Those are the high rarity cards. All of the Shadal monsters are kind of like rares, I believe, rare and commons, which is good. Um, just the boss monsters are hollowed out. So Shadows are a really good archetype. If you saw in the OCG, Shadows have been topping like pretty much every tournament. It's a really good control kind of lockdown deck. It's kind of it kind of feels like to me when Evil Swarms first came out. Evil Swarms were, was a really good deck, especially when Rabbit was at two. Um, so it's kind of that kind of like that. It controls the deck, controls your opponent, and beats them down until they're dead. So Shadows, I think, is a really good deck, very versatile, and it has a uh, really good, um, and it's been proven that it's a really good deck. So um, Shadows, like the Fusion guys, El Shadow Fusion, they are around like $25 each right now. Uh, the set just came out, so usually when a set comes out, the cards are high priced and they start to drop in price, but I think with Shadows, um, they're actually going to stay in the higher mid-range high price um, because they're going to be a good deck. I feel like the cards are going to go up a bit in price once they start this once tournaments start happening and Shadal start winning tournaments. Um, Shadal prices will go up, I think. So if you do have any Shadal cards, I do recommend you hold on to them now. Um, even though like Shadal Fusion is a twenty dollars super rare. Um, since it's such a core card and it's a really good card in the deck and you have to run like three, um, I do think that card is going to stay up in the high, in the 20s area and I think it's going to go up. So in my opinion, I think you should hold on to sh Shadal cards because I think they're going to do well. Uh, let's talk about Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss is a really cool archetype. Um, I really like how it works. It's good with tour guides. Uh, tour guides have gone up in price. Um, I just think Burning Abyss is a really cool deck. I don't think it's as good as like Shadows or Yang Zing in my opinion. Um, I haven't really tried them out, but I don't think it's as good. I think it's a, probably like a tier 2 deck. Um, but you never know, it could rise up. But the Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss is the most expensive one because it's a secret rare and then all the monsters are like rares. Um, it's a $26 card. But I think it's going to stay around that price. It might go down a bit, but I think it's going to stay up around that $20 area, $20, $30. So it's okay if you want to hold on to it, try out the deck, um, 
see if it does anything. I don't think you would lose money if you hold on to it that long. But yeah, especially but with the new like Quill Loss, you everyone knows about Quill Loss. Quill Loss are going to about, like wreck everything. Um, once Quill Loss comes out, the prices of like Burning Abyss might go down a bit. Um, I don't think it'll affect your dollars that much. But since everyone will be playing Quill Loss, um, I do think like decks decks that are not as big like Shadows and I think Yang Zing pretty big. Um, so like Burning Abyss is kind of like a second tier. Um, I do think the price will fall down in that. So Dante, I think you can sell now or you hold on to him a bit, play it out. But uh, selling him around now would be a good time. And just Burning Abyss in general. Um, Stellar Knights, they're kind of like a tier 2 deck I would say. Uh, it's, the cards aren't expensive so you don't really have to play around trying to make your money off them. They're like mostly rare commons. Uh, the XC guys, 12 bucks, so uh, pretty safe to play around. Um, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, I don't think that card's gonna stay. It's 20, 20 bucks right now, I do think it's going to drop, especially because it's one of the boss monsters for the main character of the series. So it's definitely going to get reprinted for sure. So I do think you should sell it now for $20. Um, let's see. Yang Zing. Yang Zing is a really cool archetype. Um, it really grinds the game out, it exhausts your opponent out of resources, and it, you can just keep bringing out monsters and bouncing things back. It's just really good, it's really effective. Um, all, the drag all the dragons, well they're worms, worm archetype, but the dragons are like $5 each, they're all super rares. So if you want to build a deck and you, want, and you need like 2 or 3 of each copy, that's already pretty expensive. And then like the secret rare, not bad, twelve dollars right now. I think that's actually a good price. Um, the track card Yang Zing Creation is also like twelve dollars. There's so a lot of the Yang Zing like supporting cards are really good. They're very solid cards as as its own. Um, the prices of them are actually pretty good. Like the five dollars for the dragons and like twelve dollars twelve dollars for the boss synchro and stuff. That's actually a really good price. I do think that the price might go up once people play Yang Zings and it tops tournaments. Um, so I think that if you have them, I think you should hold on to them and maybe invest in them now. Because I think that they do have really good potential and it will go up in price. So that's just my opinion on Yang Zings. And that's basically it for the new archetypes that came out. Super heavy samurais, I don't really need to talk about that. It's just a really fun casual deck, but not very competitive. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Performance Fouls, that's just like, a, again, a fun deck. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it in the set. So, just to wrap things up, Shadals, I think you could hold on to them. I think that they're going to do well, and I think they're going, they could go up in price. Uh, Burning Abyss, there, it's a cool deck, but I don't think it's going to do as well as like Yang Zings and Shadals. So I think you should like sell them now or play it a bit and then sell it because I do think it will drop in price. Um, and finally, and finally the main last archetype, Yang Zing, I think it's going to do really well. Or I expect it to do pretty well. So because the prices are pretty low, I would say right now, I think that they will go up so I think you could invest in that and yeah that's pretty much it on my review of the Duelist Alliance set. Comment down below what you think about the new archetypes, how they will do, um, how they're going to do in the market, how they're going to do when quill offs come out. Um, and if you like this kind of review I could do reviews on major sets like every time they come out or I did this video kind of late I kind of want to review the sets before they come out so it's a bit better for you guys so you can predict and invest a bit earlier to make more money and yeah that's all thanks for watching i'll be doing some Yu-Gi-Oh marketing videos on more specific cards soon and i'll see you guys next time peace